What's going guys, I over here and welcome back to another episode of my Motorsport Manager career mode and we're going to kick things off on this episode with a very, very interesting development here from my mailbox because we've got an investment opportunity apparently or to accept an investment uh, sum from Balcazar. Apparently she is a bit of a kind of economicist uh, outside off the track because she's apparently invested in some weird kind of uh, like uh, like Caribbean island Trin Trinidad and Tobago kind of a weird kind of thing to do as a, as a racing driver invest in in the Caribbean islands um, but you know we'll, we'll work with it it's a little bit odd but uh, she invested it she got some money and uh, she wants to give some of it to us to maybe as she put it pay for a new gearbox or something I like how she really like puts it off like oh it's it's nothing just yeah something or something like that so I'm gonna accept the investment I don't know how much it is but we've got a new trait so apparently she's gonna start I don't know giving us money or something I don't know she's she's absolutely brilliant three and a half star and giving us money she's not even a pay driver she's just investments just just, and I believe she's like, what, like only 19 or 20, 20. You know what I'm doing at the age of 20? Making this video. <laughs> Except the investment, 250,000. Not too bad, not too bad. That's pretty damn decent for a 20 year old just to bring that in randomly after um, investing in uh, the Caribbean islands. To be honest, I, if it was real life, I'd ask her if I could invest in that because th that would yeah, that might help with some student loans that are burning a pocket. Anyway, moving on. Um, in terms of our car, we've now got our brand new rear wing fitted. So that's what we're improving at the moment, improving the reliability. Once that gets to about 80%, I'll take that off and start improving just the performance max uh, for this other rear wing. But we've got 301 and 289 at the moment. So that's looking very, very good. In terms of reliability, all our parts are pretty much bang on. So we don't actually need to do work and reliability as such anymore. Really just trying to save some money up to keep on making some new parts. Probably around we're on round eight. So I would say probably after the Canadian Grand Prix, we don't make any new parts and just save up as much money as we can for next year's car. So we might get one new part after the Brazilian Grand Prix, perhaps. Maybe a gearbox, like she said. I don't know, really. That's actually, you yeah, know, let's, let's do that right now. Let's look at what the other racetracks might need. So that needs a gearbox. Uh, that doesn't. That's rear wing and um, springs. Uh, top speed, obviously, that's something that's fixed. Gearbox could be useful on that, and high speed gearbox could be useful on that, uh, and the engine, and once again, the rear wing and gearbox could be useful. So it looks like the gearbox might actually be the, the, the next best bet, really, to make. So how much is that going to cost? That's going to cost us one million, which is quite a bit, so I'm a little bit reluctant to do that. Let me know in the comments below if you think I should go ahead and make that gearbox anyway, uh, maybe after the, what will be after this episode, after the Sydney Grand Prix, the last chance I, I just mentioned that I think we'll make a new part, because after, after Vancouver, I think we want to have three rounds of just saving pure money for the next round. But anyway, speaking of the next round, we've got the Rio de Janeiro, the Brazilian Grand Prix coming up, so let's go straight into that and see how we do in practice. Wow, that is such a stark difference. I'm here right in the middle of practice, 10 minutes to go, and we did the first setup, which was 50%. It was like really, really bad across the board. We did one little tweak, was ba was, which basically bring down the rear wing angle, maybe putting this up a little bit, and it's gone literally like that, straight from 50 to 92. That's pretty crazy, like such a big, big swing. I'm surprised we've got one bang on on perfect already yeah, in terms of excellence. Right, with about two minutes to go, we're looking very, very good on the setups. And you're just about to see, there we go, ticked over, race level three, ultra soft level three, purple for both, which is absolutely fantastic. Really, really great. Both drivers are very happy with the setup, and I am very happy with the amount of knowledge we've got for the race ahead going again super super aggressive with both these drivers it worked out for us last time to some extent obviously a little bit dodgy on uh, I think it was like the parts towards the end and also the fuel just at the end with Cruz but all in all also a great one because Balcazar had to come up from 18th to get that podium that we got in the last episode so all in all very very good can't complain and hopefully we can better that position today I mean, I'm hoping so because of our sponsors as well, because I didn't actually show it, but we chose the Canadian sponsor. So I, th I believe it was going to be, I think, third or above. I think we have to get for quite a big sum. So we're going to see how it goes. This time, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, to, you know, a few, a few of you guys were like, no, no, do take, uh, do take the sim qualifying because uh, it does work out a lot better. So I'm going to try it. We're going to see how it goes, um, you know, and we'll compare how, you know, much better it is or worse it is. And then we'll go on from there and we kind of will figure out what we're going to do from now on for the rest of the season in terms of what we do with qualifying because it appears to be there might be an advantage just doing the um, 
doing the simulated qualifying rather than me taking it. But uh, yeah, really good work on the setup work. It looks like their Balcazar actually had a worse setup just at the end. So I'm going to re, I'm going to go back to the very, the second last setup I did with her because she was a lot happier on that set uh, on that setup than the one she just finished off with. You would have seen on the top left because before I had two excellence uh, instead of just one. But uh, we're here in qualifying and it is raining at the moment. So I'm actually going to, is there a way I can quit out of this and then try and simulate qualifying? I think, I think if I just go click continue, I can sim simulate it, can't I? But um, in terms of the things we can actually choose, we can't actually choose anything related to the uh, actual uh, intermediate tyre. So we'd have to go with that. But we're going to change the setup here because we had a better setup here, 97%. Great, uh, great, excellent, excellent there. So we're going to continue on. Go obviously on the Inters. I mean, obviously. Uh, and then with Cruiser setup, he also had a better setup this time around there with 97%. So I'm going to go with that. Intermediates. And for the first time ever in this series so far, we'll go with the instant result. Let's see. Remember, we are going to get 600k if we get third or above. Fingers crossed that can work for us. I have my doubts. I have my doubts about simulated qualifying. But uh, a few of you guys have said that you, you, you think it will, be, it will be a bit better in terms of consistency. Both the drivers might be further up there instead of just one. So let's take it and let's see what it gets us. All right, here we go. Getting to the end. What's it going to be? Please, please, please be decent. Please be decent. Please, please be decent. Okay. Mm, okay. We didn't quite get the sponsor objective, but we got sixth and eighth, so that's pretty damn decent, I'd say. So, yeah, I guess what I literally just said, some of you guys say for consistency's sake, it's, uh, it's, uh, it's a lot better. But obviously, I think, you know, because you can figure out where the gaps are when you take it yourself... You could end up holding up other AI cars, and then you could kind of leapfrog yourself up into the higher positions. But 6th and 8th is very, very decent. In the race, hopefully, we can try and get third or above with the uh, second half of the money pool, which will be the other 600k, hopefully. Right, in some of the race, we're going ultra softs and race trim, of course. The light-footed medium tires aren't going to help us. And then ultra soft and race trim there. Car setup's looking all decent. We're both going to be on the ultra softs. We're both going to be pushing at the very start of the race. But I am, this is going to be very, very interesting to see how this works out. Also, I forgot, I keep forgetting we have to do the fuel in this menu. Um, okay, so the Ultra Softs will go 11 to 13 laps. So I'm going to fill up Balcazar for, we'll go, ooh, that's a, that's a weird fuel tank. Only 18 for that, okay. Um, we'll go for 13 laps of fuel with Balcazar. And we will go a little bit less for Cruz. We'll go with 12 laps of him and see how that works out. But 22 lap race, so really... If you think about it, we could go even more aggressive. Because is it going to be a... Is it like a normal two-stop? If it's a normal two-stop for everyone, the super softs go 17 laps. So some people could be trying the one-stop. So we have to go ultra-aggressive, perhaps, and maybe go for... I don't know. Let's try it. A 10-lap fuel stint at the very beginning. Let's go a little bit less on Balcazar as well. We'll go... We'll go 11 laps for her. Yeah, let's go very, very aggressive. Because if people are making a one-stop work, we have to go even faster on our ultra softs to try and gain that time back. Um, so third or above, 600k. Let's go for it. Let's try it. And hopefully we can uh, succeed. Right, we go to five red lights for the Brazilian Grand Prix. The first time we've been here in this game, five red lights. And we're underway from 6th and 8th on the grid. Balcazar makes a pretty decent start. Still in 6th place. We go into the first sector. It's all looking very kind of pedestrian in terms of no real kind of places made or lost here, to be honest. Cruz is still in 8th, so that's good. Balcazar has lost a position to uh, whoever it is up ahead. Uh, Lundis. This, I'm not, I'm just not going to try. Uh, Balcazar, though, is now down to 8th, actually. So she's had a really poor little corner there so Cruz is ahead of her now let's speed this up and let's see how it goes on obviously for the very start of the race really it's pretty much the same every single time we're just pushing so there's not much I can actually do in in terms of the racing apart from just watching it happen and just seeing how my drive is fair but it looks like at this immediate stage Cruz is going a lot faster actually surprisingly he's going a lot faster actually so that's uh, surprising. Although, Bal saying that, Balcazar is catching back up. So, literally, as I say it, Balcazar catches up. It, it just works every time. It's worked out the last two episodes. Every time I start talking about my drivers going slowly or not going fast enough, they just turn on the wick. You know, it's like they can hear me. Um, <laughs> so, now we're going to try and follow everyone now. Let's go to neutral. Let's go to neutral. High and high. Let's try and stretch this stint out now. 
I'm checking the weather. It doesn't look like there's going to be any. There's going to be any forecast for rain uh, at least until lap. You know, that would be in lap, lap nine. I'd say maybe lap nine. There might be some rain. I don't know. I think at the starting screen it said it was meant to be dry in the race, um, and I think it even said it was meant to be dry in the qualifying, but it turned out to be uh, intermediate. But so far, seventh and eighth. So you've got to say at the back of the suit, uh, the back of the ultra soft pack. But obviously, the way we're doing it, we might be obviously overtaking some people because others might be going to the super softs and trying the one stop. Also, there's been a crash in sector one, so uh, Zarate is out. I think that's how you pronounce it. But we're on to lap seven, uh, 17 laps remaining, out to lap six. Still looking on the tire wear as well, better than the top three guys. And in terms of pace. We're doing 125s compared to their 126s, 24s, 23s. So all around looking somewhat decent. Right, we're up into 5th and 6th as some other people made their pit stops. And they're going on to the super soft tyres, I think. So just as I said, I think some people might be trying the one stop here with such a short track compared to the usual kind of, you know, we've been used to like 30, 30 something laps. So this is 22. Uh, so far, Alto Balcazar is really closing up on Cruz. I'm not going to assess any team orders at the moment because, well, there's no really point for it at the moment. Now we are 1-2. So with 2.8 laps to go. We're looking good. We're looking good. Let's bring this down a tad. Let's bring this down a tad. Neutral. Go for one more lap like that and then maybe push it. So we're going to go overtake mode. Actually, going to push in this lap and have to pit in with Cruz right now because he obviously we fueled him one less lap than uh, we did with Balcazar. Go on that set of uh, ultra softs. Now we'll fuel up for... We'll go 10 laps. Yeah, we'll go 9.67. 9.67. And we'll go for a fast pit stop. So pit in for him. For Balcazar, we'll continue on for one more lap attacking. Cruz is in from second place. Good, good, good. And he's going to come out in fifth place. Okay, not too bad, not too bad. Uh, high on the fuel, but attacking. Uh, we'll go pushing high, pushing high. Meanwhile, we've got to ooh, make sure. Oh, that was close, that was close. Um, Make sure we go ultra soft. We'll fuel her up for 9.51. We'll put in a little bit more fuel on this one. We'll flip it a little bit. Give her less fuel at the end compared to Cruz. Uh, we'll go for a fast pit stop again. Uh, and that'll be good. Okay. So, that's going to be our first stop. Obviously, we're making a second one later on. But she is pushing very hard right now. 34% low fuel. So, as near as we could get it. It's a little bit odd. Didn't work out completely perfect like uh, we have in the past. But near enough to all quite low. And good and good. Okay. Balcazar comes out in fourth place. So the overcut worked for her. The overcut worked an absolute treat for her. So that's interesting to note. That is a good thing to note that the overcut may be the way to go. Taking the tyres longer might be there to go. So in that fact, we might want to actually save a bit of fuel here and go longer in general. Our Ultrasource had some great pace still in them with 34%. So it looks like the overcut worked for us very, very well. Catching third place here with Balcazar, which is what we, what we want to see. Because if, if I am correct and these guys are doing a one-stop, we need to basically overtake them. So we do need to make these positions up. So as Balcazar closes up, we're going to put it over up into overtake and attack mode. Get past third place. There we go. Put it back down to high and pushing and continue on. And now Cruz. Let's look behind with him. Hopefully Balcazar don't see her dropping down to fourth now. But with Cruz, he's catching up to fifth. So the same again. When we close up, we're going to go to overtake and attack probably on the start of the very next lap as he closes up here. Well, let's go. Overtake attack. Overtake attack. Come on, Cruz. You need to overtake this person. You need to do it very, very soon. Come on. Come on. Closing up. Closing up. Going to go down to pushing on the tyres. Still in overtake mode on the fuel. Getting very, very close. We have to bring it down to high. Can't afford to do it that too much. So that didn't work with Cruz. He was unable to make the pass. Unable to make the pass, unlike Balcazar. So this is this is hurting him a little bit. Staying behind fifth place, he needs to get past them. Okay, come on, Cruz. He's still stuck behind fifth place. Get him, get him. Overtake, overtake. Come on. Seven laps remaining. You gotta go fast, man. Okay, we're gonna pause the video here. This is the sit reps. Uh, Cruz is in sixth place. Still stuck behind fifth place, man. Annoyingly, looking good on the fuel. Looking good on the tires still. Balcazar, a little bit more fuel in the tank. So maybe we have to. That means we'll have let. We have to do less time in the pits. To actually, make the pit stop. But interestingly enough, look at this guy. He's gonna come into the pits, fourth place behind us, and worn tires. So maybe everyone is doing a two stop. So maybe we're working this quite well. So Balcazar can definitely go one more lap and remember the overcut worked last time for her. So we're gonna continue on with her. Meanwhile, with Cruz, though, he won't make it to the end of the next lap with this amount of fuel. So we're gonna pit him in, try and get him a bit of an undercut on fifth place, man. Uh, because he's he's been stuck behind him ever since we started trying to overtake him. So 
In terms of the fuel, we have four, six laps left uh, on the tank. So we're going to go 7.8. So that'll be eight laps, roughly. Uh, we're going to go for a fast pit stop there. We'll pit, her in, uh, we'll pit him in, and Balcazar will continue on. So Balcazar will continue. She was catching second. She is catching second still. So go on. Overtake him if you can. But uh, Cruz is in. Okay, all good, good. Refueling nice. Got excess fuel. He can push to the end of the race, basically. And the same with Balcazar. We're closing up to second. We're still there. We're very, very close. We're going to pit in this lap for a set of ultra soft. This will be the quickest pit stop in the world. Ooh, actually, let's add, yeah, a little bit of rear wing, just in case, just in case. I don't want that part to fall off because it was, actually, you know what, 34%. We could probably snatch that. We could probably just get away with that. So, four laps of fuel, just about. So, we'll go 4.2. 5.2? 5 5.2. We'll go 5.2. Uh, fast pit stop. Four second pit stop. Ooh, oh, crap. I cancelled the by accident. That's fine. I rectified the issue. She's going to pit in this lap. Second place man is going to come in as well. So, pit stop battle. Let's see. Good, good. Comes out in the... Ooh, fourth. Comes out in fourth. But she's got the fuel. She's got the pace. Come on, we need to get third at least for the objective. She's down to fifth, actually, so she really needs to push on. Okay, there she goes, up into fourth place. Keep on pushing. The person ahead is going on conservative tyres for some reason. So hopefully we can get them. We're going very, very quick. Where's third place? There is third place, just there. Just a little up the road. So I really need to hope that Balcazar can get this to get the sponsor objective and maybe get the podium. Two laps remaining. Also, Cruz is making his way up slowly in sixth place. Maybe could get fifth. By the end of it, he's behind there, but, oh, very annoying. These top three are just that much better. I mean, yeah, you guys have told me in the comments that there's uh, apparently a fake Rosberg and a fake Alonso in this championship. They've been demoted from the F1 tier from last season, so it is a little bit understandable maybe that we can't match the top three all the time, but we were looking so good. I mean, we're going on to the final lap here, and we're so close, actually. Come on. Could we do this? We're so, so close. Come on. Keep pushing. Keep pushing. Keep going. Yes. Up into third. That's the objective. Keep going. Keep going. Up into third. Lovely. Alcazar gets third place in the end. And Cruz is going to come across the line for fifth place. So he got it in the end. He got fifth in the end. Couldn't get fourth place. But that was fair enough. That wasn't his fight. Balcazar was the one who had to fight fourth place. And she got it. Cruz also got Costa in fifth. So we're getting a third and fifth position finish. That is very, very decent. That is very, very decent. And on target for our sponsors, 600k. Lovely work, guys. Lovely work. We got a little bit. Cruz got screwed over a little bit, being held up by Costa, I think it was, in the in the second stint. If he had got past Costa, I honestly think Cruz could have been right up there in fourth as well, right behind Balcazar. Again, Holtz and Munro doing a very, very good job. But I think uh, definitely Holtz is the fake Rosberg. I'm not sure if Munro, Munro's the guy who's the fake uh, Alonso or whatever, but um, th those two have done a fantastic job and they're just too fast for us at the moment. But third place, best of the rest, I'll take that, I'll take that. There we go, we got four points for third and two points for fifth place. Third place trophy, so our second third place trophy of this season so far. Balcas actually moves down to fifth because you got Monroe who won the race, goes up to third. Cruz actually makes his way up into seventh place with eight points there. Level with Shah there in uh, Tim Kirov. So let's see what it is. So we're still in fourth, but we're one point behind Boa. We could get third place in the Constructors, which would be absolutely insane in the very first season to do something like that. Although with Munro's win, they also closed up with 27 points. So they're very, very close behind us. So this might be a very, very interesting end to the season in terms of battling out for that third place spot in the Constructors. But a really great first episode, uh, first race of the episode. Let's move on to the next race, which I can't actually remember which one it is. We'll see in a bit. But uh, let's see, have they improved much on their stats? I would like to hopefully think we get minus 200. 17 so it's still not in the green but it's 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 not that much of a dent actually it's it's not as bad as our uh, previous races have been there and uh, i don't think anyone actually improved there because there weren't any kind of stat bumps but anyway what's the next race it is sydney the australian grand prix right we've got a dilemma here mechanics are complaining i heard a few rumblings of some mechanics they're not happy with working in the factory they do have quite long hours what should i tell them give them all a bonus deal with it Ooh, minus five mechanic relationship. I mean, we've got a pretty decent relationship anyway, don't we? I think we have like 100% pretty much. Uh, can I, is there anywhere I can see that? I can't seem to find where we can see the actual relationship uh, status, but I would say just deal with it. Minus five doesn't sound like that much to me, so deal with it, dealt with. Um, so now moving on to improve. Okay, those parts are still being done. Repairs are complete. There we go. So the mail's done. Idling staff. There we go. So we can improve the parts. 
Uh, so we're going to still improve this. We can improve this as well. And we can improve these two. So we may as well do that. In terms of the reliability, it's all looking very, very good. So we can just keep on that. Eight days after the race, unfortunately. But we'll still push on. But do let me know in the comments below, guys. If we should spend some money on the gearbox. It will be the one and only final upgrade we do before the end of the season. Because, as I said, for these last three, I'll keep it kind of... I'll, I think I'll put the finance into the high percentage, I think, for the last three rounds. Even though we'll go really into the negative. But um, I think it's just something we have to do to try and improve the car for next season. Go a little bit long term there. Might dip into the red right now, but we'll be in the green later on. Right, we've got a politics vote coming up. So a new vote has uh, started for the refueling. So this is, at the moment, we've got 80 kilogram fuel tank. They, they want to slash it in half. So rule will benefit teams with higher budgets. And this will not benefit uh, teams with lower budgets. So that will be me as well. I'm not, I, I'm not for that. And also, to be honest, I've liked the fact that uh, the fuel tank is actually bigger now because now that I've got the hang of it and kind of, you know, sussed out a little bit in terms of the aggressive strategy, I'm going to probably vote against. But at the same time, I am actually not too fast because back in GP3, I did pretty damn well with lower fuel tanks. Uh, and we've been running pretty low fuel tanks anyway. Like if you've if you if you like you've seen, we've been running pretty much half the fuel tank every single time. So really, I'm just going to abstain. I don't actually care which way this goes. So I'm just going to abstain. We'll see what goes on. So it's been rejected, so we're staying with the higher fuel tanks there. I've abstained, so I've saved two votes there in terms of for the next GMA meeting. And really, I, I couldn't make my mind up which one I wanted, so it probably was better off me abstaining there. But uh, the voting is over, and it has been uh, rejected. So end of practice here at Australia. We missed out by literally a pixel to getting level 3 on both these things. Very, very annoying. Um, it's unfortunate that you can't continue learning that even on the in-lap after the session is finished so we miss out on level three on super softs and race trim we're only on level two for that in terms of the setups uh they'll be harder here at australia especially with cruz he's very very picky and he doesn't really know what he wants completely so the setup may not be the best for cruz well barca's a little bit better so feeling good with her but um yeah a bit of a mixed uh, mixed practice to be honest uh for this one for this race i think we'll take qualifying it's raining Plus, I really do want to try and get third or above in qualifying, and I don't think we, we can. I don't think we can do that with the simulation because I think even though it's going to be consistent, both of them doing well, I would rather have one of them do well and the other one do poorly just to get that money because I think we we do need that money towards the end of the season. I've also put up the financials up to uh, medium right now, so we do actually need the money in that sense as well. In terms of the slots, we can't pick anything else apart from those two. In terms of the car setup, well, Balcazar doesn't know how this setup worked out for her because she didn't have a chance to do a lap. So this was the last best setup there. The thing, I basically went with a between between the 94 and 95, which is basically adjusting the handling here to a midway point. I think this is going to work. So I don't know what she thought this setup, but I'm going to stick with it. Intermediates, obviously. And then for the setup with Cruz, he just thought everything was great and 95%, which is decent enough. So I'm going to go intermediates as well. And we'll take qualifying this time, trying to get at least one of these guys in the top three to try and get that money. Right, here we are with Balcazar. I'm going to take this nice and slow. Make sure we judge this correctly. So the car at upper behind us, we have to basically... I don't know. Is there a gap behind... There's a gap behind him that we could try and fit into, possibly. Let's slow this down quite a bit. Let's go behind this guy. And then speed this up. And we'll try and get in this gap. Overheated on the tyres, conserving, pushing a little bit. We're going to have to overheat the brakes a little bit just to try and get the tyre temps up. But we need to also push because this guy's going to overtake us. Don't overtake us. No, you absolute bastard. Absolute bastard. Let's slow things down. Okay, there you go. Okay, there'll be a pretty decent gap there. Overheated brakes, good tyre, and a pretty decent gap there. Pretty decent gap. With Cruz, let's send him out now. Let's send him out now. Just behind Balcazar, this will be... By the time we come out, let's speed this up. All right, push, push, push. Okay, we got a bit of a gap there. Got a bit of a gap there. All right, slow this down, slow this down. Get the tire temps nice and kind of in the zone. We're also holding up two people while we do this. So I guess that's sort of good in a way. Um, okay, slow this down, slow this down, slow this down. Okay, go now, go now, go now, go now. Push, push, push. We've got three cars right on our tail. Don't let them through, Cruz. Don't let them through. Don't you dare. We've overheated the brakes completely, but it's fine. We've now got some clean air. No, you, yeah, you bastard. You bastard. 
Oh, it is very, very difficult, I tell you, to get the clean air. It's very, very difficult. Very, very difficult. Okay, we got good and overheated there. And we've got a bit of a gap now for Balcazar. Definitely this time, I think we have a gap for her. We're going to send Cruz out. I don't think he'll have enough time, actually, to do a lap here. I don't, I'm don't. not too sure. What's the lap time like? I don't think he'll have time. I think he's going to go out and the checkered flag is going to fall. So I think Cruz is going to be way down the order, potentially. Let's see with Balcazar, though. Uninterrupted lap, it looks like. She might catch the cars ahead. Yes, yeah, she will. Oh, this is going to be close. It's going to be close. Just keep on going. I need this car to just keep on going ahead of us. Oh, we're gaining a little bit. We're gaining a little bit, but looking okay. Come on. Just please don't. Don't hold her up. Don't hold her up. Doing well. Doing well. Doing well. One second faster in the first second. 1.4. Keep going. Keep going. Don't get held up. Okay. Okay. Oh, okay. Okay. Overtook the car. Not too bad. Not too bad. Come on. Across the line. What's it going to be? Oh, it's going to be third, just about. No! Ah, one car got it. Three cars got it. Ah, we were briefly in the target window for a brief, brief second. Brief, brief second. Well, that's completely backfired on me. We're now down in 20th and 8th. Ah, that's, that's... See, this game, it tricks you. It's like, okay, you can earn some more money if you take qualifying, but no. No, we haven't, we haven't gained the money. Ah, for frick's sake. That is so annoying. So annoying. We were third, briefly. Briefly, we had 600k. Right, well, we have a bit of an interesting race ahead of us then. Race trim and uh, super soft tyres. We're going to go on race trim and super soft tyres. Confirm. Bit of a different race for both these two. So, uh, Balcazar going aggressive on the super soft tyres. The tyres will only go 10 laps. So, we're going to fuel up for... Well, it's only 24. It's, a, it's another short race, so we'll fuel up for 11 laps. 11 laps. And then in terms of cruise, we're going to go super soft, and we'll fuel up for 12 laps. And we'll go a little bit longer and try and stretch the tyres a little bit because he's at the back. Right, here we go to five red lights for the Australian Grand Prix from eighth and last. 20th place on the grid. Five red lights and they're on the way. We have a lot of work to do with both these drivers. Balcazar makes a pretty decent getaway. Cruise up into 19th, so good to see. And showing that he does have the pace, I think. Just unfortunate with qualifying how it worked out. You know, the money tempted me. Balcazar down to 10th, that's fine. That's sort of uh, kind of the usual kind of. They'd like to bounce around in terms of the positions they're in. But let's look. Everyone is pushing at the moment in time. That means I'm actually going to bring this down to high and pushing for Cruz and already start saving the tyres a little bit with him. Meanwhile, we'll continue pushing on with Balcazar. Looks like she's dropping down the order a little bit, but she'll eventually find her feet, I hope. Right, Balcazar is up into 8th place, so she's overtaken about two cars there. Looking good on lap time as well and pace. You know, we're catching 7th place as well. Meanwhile, Cruz is in 20th place still. But remember, we're trying to maybe hold him out a little bit longer so he can get some clean air once all these guys hit, perhaps. But also, at the same time, we might need to get a bit of a move on, but we'll bring him down to high there. Everyone else ahead of us. Some people starting to conserve. We're going to continue on and push a little bit on this set of tyres. Right, people have already made a pit stop. One guy's already made a pit stop for the soft tyre, so they really didn't go very long there. Whereas we can continue on. Cruz still in uh, down the order, but he's up into 18th, so he's cheering about that. Meanwhile, Balcazar in 7th, you can see, behind 6th place. Ooh, nearly, nearly got them. In terms of what they're doing, everyone is pretty much conserving. We're going to continue on. We'll go on neutral now. We'll continue on. Look at that, all on low fuel. We're going to keep it on high fuel and keep it pushing as other people... Slowly and slowly, they try to make pit stops. We're going to continue on here, pushing on the fuel, whereas everyone else is conserving fuel. Right, Balcazar is in first place. 37% on the tyres, so probably worth pushing in now to make the pit stop. Right, making the pit stop. Super softs will go on for those who go 10. We're going to go on for... We'll go another 10. Yeah, we'll go 11.7 .7 laps of fuel, so just about 12. We'll go with a fast pit stop. In this lap with Balcazar. In this lap with Cruz as well. Mm, should we try something different? Nah. No, I won't try something different. We'll just go safe. Safe option. We'll go with 10.4 laps of fuel. Pit strategy fast as well. So he has to fill up less uh, than Balcazar actually. So he'll have a bit of a faster pit stop. There comes Balcazar. Good, good. Comes out in 7th place. Decent enough. Decent enough. Right, Balcazar is behind Holtz here. And I think she might have better pace than Holtz on the super soft tyres. So this is going to be very, very interesting to see how everyone does. 
In terms of the actual strategy, you can see he's pushing his fuel. I'm not pushing it at the moment. We could do, though. So let's go up into overtake and push the fuel a little bit. But we're on the exact same strategy as him in terms of keeping it nice and tight on the tyre wear, in terms of neutral tyre wear at the moment. Right, lap 12 at the moment. Balcazar starting to go a little bit slower than she was before. So just dropping back a little bit into third place. Uh, backing into third place, should I say. Uh, up ahead, Holt still in first place, but he's on the soft tyres, remember. We're on the super soft. So let's continue this on a little bit. Let's save the fuel. Actually, no, we can continue on overtake because we've got 5.8 there on fuel. So actually, we've got more fuel than tyre wear there. So we're going to save the tyres a little bit on neutral now. If we can keep in second place like this on neutral on the tyre pushing, we'll be good. Meanwhile, with Cruz, I don't honestly know what's going on with him. He's got horrible pace. And he's not actually catching these guys on soft tyres, which is very, very worrying indeed. I say that, though. He's literally just overtaken them for 19th there. So there you go. Once again, as soon as I start talking about them and have a look at them on track, they do pretty damn well. So that's, again, the commentator's curse or the commentator's blessing, I guess. Cruz up into 14th now. So getting a move on a little bit and pushing on. I would say, actually, if he pushes on, probably one more lap, I'd say. He'd probably do quite well to come in then. Same with Balcazar. We're going to push as Holtz comes in. Yeah, perfect timing. So push with her. Push with Cruz. One more lap each. And then we can make the final pit stop with 10 laps remaining. Might even go even longer, actually. Let's go a little bit longer. Let's go push. And let's go a little bit longer, perhaps. Yeah, we're going one more lap because we've gone minus 0 0.67. So doing pretty damn well on the pace. Same with Cruz potentially. We're going to come in now. He's right at the end of the lap, I think. Yeah, right at the end. Perfect timing. Uh, 16 laps. So that's eight laps of fuel. We'll fuel him up for 8.57. Fast pit stop, hitting this lap, my man, hitting this lap. We'll look out for Cruz, but she's still doing pretty damn well. Okay, Cruz in. Good, good pit stop. Out in 16th place. He's just got enough fuel to make it to the end. We'll push on for Cruz. We'll pit in this lap now. Super soft, fuel options. We've got eight laps of fuel, so I'll pit in 8.7. Pit strategy fast, come in at this lap. Perfect timing there. She's in. Pretty decent pace right at the end there. Pit stop. Where is this going to be? There's Holtz, I think. Yep. Okay, so the overcut. Two laps of overcut. Didn't quite work. But now, we've got very fresh tyres compared to their soft tyres. So now, we can just push. We can just push. Alright, we're up into second. We're up into third place, I should say. Because someone's made their pit stop. That was Costa, I think. Or, I don't know. Actually, it was, uh, I lie. It was uh, Teclin, I think. That was the guy who went down the order, I think. So, up into third. Up into the sponsor objective already. Trying to attack and trying to catch up to, uh, to second place. Proving a little bit difficult, though. He's got some great pace there. Monroe. I should say she. She's got some great pace. Monroe. She was the one who won the last race. So, not surprising there. Six laps remaining. I'm just hoping that her tyres wear out, basically. And we're going to keep the pace up to catch her right at the end. Meanwhile, with Cruz... In 16th place, yet again, just not great pace. He's minus 2.3 seconds, minus 3 seconds actually, so going very, very fast. But he was just so far behind that it doesn't matter. He was so down the order that uh, it just he just can't catch up enough. But, um, oh well, I guess. But uh, we'll just try our best to move on. Meanwhile, Balcazar, wow. Look at that, fastest lap of the Grand Prix. Remember, that will get us a point there, I think. If we keep up with the fastest lap of the Grand Prix, amazing stuff. Okay, Balcazar is really catching up. We're going to go down to high, though, just in case the tyres fall off here. But she's looking very, very decent. We just need to wait for our opportunity, really. Look, they're conserving their tyres, so we just need to wait to pounce here. We're also saving some fuel here by going in medium, so we could use that to our advantage. We go overtake, coming across to the next lap. Let's go. A little bit of overtake mixture. We'll just have a little bit there. We'll go back down to medium. Oh, so, so close. Overtake mode. Come on, come on. Get them, get them, get them. Oh, close, close, close. We have to make sure we don't run out of fuel there. We're getting so, so close. Right, final lap of the Grand Prix. This is it. Do or die. Two laps remain. Well, you know, two sectors remaining. So it's either this or bust. So we really need to get a move on. Overtake, push. Excess fuel a little bit. So we'll go a little bit high. Looks like she is just going to stay in second place. Unfortunately, Monroe for us. And it looks like we won't get our overtake mode now. Finally, one last push across the line through the final few corners. It's not going to be it. We're on low fuel. Come across the line. It'll be third place. Just about, just about make it across. Where is Cruz in all of this? 
He's going to be on low fuel here, finishing up in 13th place, conserving the tyres. It's a very bad race for him, unfortunately. And he's going to chug across the line there in 14th, 15th, 17th place. Cruz, you did absolutely shocking today, mate, but that's probably our fault with the qualifying. But anyway, we got the podium, so we did get the money for 600000 Unable to get uh, more points with Cruz, but I think we might have got the fast out of the Grand Prix. I'm not too sure, with Balcazar. So we could get one extra point with that. No, we did not. Of course, of course, bloody Holtz had to get it. So we only get four points there with Balcazar, and uh, we lose two points to Munro. So that could mean that we're... We, we, it's really going to get hot in the championship for third place and constructors. Another third place there. Trophy. Balcazar moves up into fourth. Cruz down to eighth. In terms of the championship. Ooh. Okay. We do move into third place. That is very, very tasty by one point. Nice stuff. Guys, leave a like just for that. Third place now in the constructors. Looking very, very nice with four rounds to go. Looking very, very decent, guys. So if you did enjoy the episode, leave that like, smash that like button. We've got one million in the bank after that reduction in funds. Obviously, as I mentioned, we went on the finances to the middle tier, basically. So what I mean by that is we put the budget to 846,000. But yeah, that's where I'm going to end it, guys. So again, leave a like if you did enjoy that. Let me know what you thought in the comments below. If you're new around here, then do subscribe for weekly forum content. I've been over. Home to today, and we'll see you guys next time.